Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty. Black with the what's good, Ravens fam? So, um, this is gonna be shocking to some of you all. I've been that busy. Um, I haven't looked at the Lamar presser, so I was thinking. Tell me if y'all would like for, to join me in the live one, real quick one. But I was like, let's look at it together. Like we did everybody's favorite Mike, Mark Florio or whatever his little name is. Let's um look at it together. So let's get to it. Hey Lamar, first impression of this new offense, and how do you see this position will benefit your game? Our uh, new offense is smooth, um, more verbiage um, than usual. Um, I like it. I'm, I'm loving it so far. Are you seeing anything in this offense so far that maybe you wanted to see out of the new offense coming in? Uh, well, I just said it. You know, like more verbiage. Uh, coach, like basically just giving us the keys to the offense, really. And like I said. I'm I like what he said with that. You coach is giving us the keys to the offense. To me, that right there is saying he trusts us. He trusts us. He wants us to go out there and ball. So he will listen to our opinion. I just want to. Uh, that's what it means to me, y'all. That's what it means to me. So let's continue. I'm loving it. Uh, not even just practice, I want to say, G. I'll say, uh, even in the meeting room, like, coach very active, like, he's talkative and, like, you're enjoying it, like, the learning process of what he's saying, you know, teaching us the, uh, the new offense, and it's fun. Well, so I know you were here that. last year, different circumstances, obviously, but why did you feel it was important to be here today? Uh, new offense, you know, had, had to get that down packed um, before the season rolled in because the season's getting there. Um, even though we got a couple months left, but still just wanted to learn a new offense and get with my guys. You might be expected to be here for the rest of the OTAs. Yeah, yeah, I do. Lamar, how do you find yourself learning? What the heck are you saying? I can hear it. Let me rewind it. Lamar, how do you might be expected to be here for the rest of the OTAs? Oh. Yeah. That was stupid. That was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pause that. That was a stupid question. Lamar, do you expect it to be here for the rest of the OTAs? He literally just said. Let me make this screen. Let me make this. He literally just said that it's a new offense and he wants to learn it. And you're going to sit there and ask him, are you going to be here for the rest? They be looking for stuff to complain about this young man. But. Let's continue. Let's see, see, this how I be. This this how I be feeling, y'all. When I be just watching it, this y'all seeing behind the scenes right now. Cause that junk irritates me. But as I do it, let's continue. Lamar, how do you find yourself learning this new offense? I mean, how how is it coming along? Uh, studying, uh, being in the meeting room, staying after. Um, when everybody leaving the building, I'm still here with uh, Coach T, Coach Monk, and going over things. Early uh, impression of Zay Flowers. I know it's early days, but I know you guys go back to the South Florida connection. Uh, Zay shifty. Zay very fast, explosive. Um, he can stop on a dime. I know y'all seen that. Like I seen it yesterday when you guys wasn't here, and I seen it today. So. You see that twinkle? You see that twinkle in the, in the Lamar eye by his, my boy, boy Zay? Yeah, he know. We struck, we, we struck gold. We struck gold, y'all. He's smooth. He's oh, silky see. smooth, baby. Oh, it's great to see my guy. Silky back. smooth. One for sure. I'm glad to see him back healthy. Um, can't wait to hear on the field. Lamar, what do you say? Uh, coach is basically giving the keys to the offense. Yeah. What, what exactly do you, what do you mean by, by that? Um, just, uh, you know, you can change things when you want to. You know, you see the defense. I just said that too. before you even ask a question. Defense. But want your receiver to do something they just different. making sure. Coach giving you the free will to do whatever you want to. When you look at all the guys that you can throw to, there's so many guys already targets out there. You're worried about making everybody happy. I mean, there are be some guys that aren't going to be right if they don't get the ball enough. I mean, I feel like if we win it, everybody should be happy. So we're going to see how it goes. When the Lamar was looking for the OC, it seemed like you indicated that you wanted style offense. What does that mean to you? I guess you feel like a monkey does kind of have an offense for you. 
I mean, just being able to throw the ball down the field. You know, we sometimes, sometimes, you know, we can't run and not going. Running can only take you so far. You know, and I feel like with, with this new era of uh, teams and offense. Am I the only one that's thinking when he said running is not going to that he stopped himself? Was he about to say running is not going to help you win the Super Bowl? Because if so, he ain't lying. Last couple of Super Bowls, they ran a little bit. But we all know, passing. This is in the league. I feel like we need that. And Coach Todd Munkin, what I'm saying, his offense so far is looking tremendous. You feel like you're, um, you won't have to run as much and that'll maybe be scaled back a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially with the receivers we have. Bay, OBJ, Zay, Dove, Pro, all those guys. guys. Yeah, yeah, I noticed how he said bait first on that. Just, just, just a little something, you know. He, he he believes in them. Isaiah, the tight end, I can't say Zay. Isaiah, the tight end, Mark, my guy, um, is looking real good. Just from a health good. standpoint, how does it feel to be out here again? I feel great to be out here again. <laughs> Even though I was on the sideline a little bit, but, you know, it feel great to see my guys and seeing everyone work so hard to, you know, try to achieve this goal this year. In terms of your physical preparation, is there anything in particular you're working on this offseason? I know last season you wanted to come in, you wanted to come in a little bigger. I mean, yeah. is, is there a focus this this summer? Everything. Just just getting back to me. And you know, that's just being the best that I can be, that's all. Lamar, is there something in this offense that you feel like would allow you to showcase an area of your game? Maybe that we've seen before, but showcase it more than just, you know, the running ability? Uh, you know, less running and more throwing. I say, you know, I hear a lot of noise about throwing and stuff like this, yards to achieve and stuff, but I'm not really worried about the yards as much as it's about us just winning. So that, that'll be all the winning category, if anything. Do you think, Lamar, when you say less running, do you think that's something that could, in your mind, could, that could big picture wise, could extend your career, or is that something that doesn't go into your mindset? That's the less running. Uh, I really don't. To me, it really don't matter. I feel like however, God, however long God want me to play, that's what it'll be. It don't matter about how long I'm going to run, because the running backs, uh, Frank Gore played how many years in the league? He was a running back, you know, so it don't really matter about running. I love me some Frank Gore. He, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. You know, I feel like it's on you and God. Lamar, is there a peace of mind for you? You're in a football setting and you can only, you know you're only going to be asked football questions now, like for the last few years. There's always going to be questions <laughs> about something else. Is there a peace of mind there? Uh, nah, because I was cool regardless, you know, but um, it, it's, it's much funner, you know, about football. We're keeping it about football and nothing else. How much do you like, you talked about Todd Monken kind of giving you the keys and being able to change plays and stuff like that. How much do you enjoy that process? Do you feel like that can kind of unlock another element to the offense? Oh, I, I, I enjoy it a lot. You know, I actually love it. Um, and just hearing coaches call out the play and then just stop and practice when something wasn't looking right and how he just, you know, blurted stuff out. It was pretty funny to me. But, um... Yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying it. I like the fact that he said coach stops in mid-play to correct. That right there can that can go a long way, in my opinion. That can go a long way. Instead of you seeing it, somebody run a wrong route or something like that, you correct that mug right now. Because you don't want that happening in the live game. We know that. You said you were looking at the playbook and you were excited what you saw. Any other prep that went into it? I mean, are you watching, like, Georgia film? Are you sort of, like, how are you experiencing it? No, I haven't watched Georgia film. I've just been, you know, watching us practice, you know, the football school practices. I'm watching those guys and, you know, just trying to learn as much as I could. Do you get the sense from Todd that this offense wants to move with a quicker pace? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I feel like it is. You know, it's a little college in it, like a little college system a little bit, but definitely faster, definitely faster. It's cool to me. You know, it's new. <laughs> Lamar, on the, on the subject of leadership, you've got five years in the league now. You've got a nice contract that you earned. What is the responsibility, as you see it, of leadership in your position? Uh, I feel like just being you. You know, at the end of the day, guys just want to see you being you and true to yourself and true to them as well, you know. And I just say um, I'm going to try to be more of a vocal leader, you know, because the coach was like, you need to start speaking more. <laughs> but it was like, you know, I just try to um, lead by example, if anything. But um, I try to be more of a vocal leader, if anything. Is that on the field or off the field? Where he... Both. Both. The amount of conversation. You can tell. I think that was Ryan. He's talking about on and off the field. Stupid question. 
You know the man mean both. Come like among the fans just about whether you were gonna come to OTAs or not. Do you do you kinda of find that funny? Do you do you, yeah. do you ignore it? Like what do you make of that? I ignore it, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, man. All good? Thanks for Mark. Thanks for Mark. All right, so that was a good uh, that was a good presser. Not too much, just a little, you know, a little bit. But I liked everything he said. Obviously, learned the offense. He's liking the uh, the rookies, eight flowers. But you know, let's just continue to see um, preseason. It's gonna be interesting to see how that works out. But it's 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 coming pretty fast. It's coming pretty fast. So. But yeah, I just I really my whole total thought of the presser is just he's excited about the new offense. He can't wait. Wide receivers, more the merrier. A lot of people, mainly with the D hop release, a lot of people is like, who gonna get the ball? How we gonna play all these people? And the Mars whole thing and my whole thing as well is win. Like don't worry about the stats. If we winning and you get that Super Bowl ring, and you get that bonus money for every playoff win we get and that Super Bowl win um, playoff check, that is going to be more important than that stat because you're going to be getting more moolah. Even the people that ain't signed like, uh, they, they ain't getting big money like Lamar and Roquan. That's more. So, that's all I, that's all I be thinking about, y'all. But, what y'all think about the um what y'all think about the presser? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Also have any questions, you already know. Put them in the comments so they can be on questions from comments. Everybody stay safe. God bless.